What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. This is a Halloween episode and today we are going to look at the Mobius Bela Lugosi as Dracula Deluxe Model Kit. This is the Broadway edition. So Bela Lugosi in the Broadway edition wore a cape that had a purple lining inside. I looked this up on the internet. And today I will try to talk with a Romanian accent, just to make this a little more authentic. So now we will look at what's in the box. Bună seara, Chifac. Now we will begin by opening the box. This is a skill level 3 kit for ages 15 and up, in 1 8 scale, so it will fit with your Aurora monsters. All right, here is the instructions. And you will notice how detailed this model kit is. Look at the instructions, very nice. We have Dracula, the victim, and this wonderful base with bats and other props. And you can see how Bella sits on the stand very well. And there is Bela Lugosi when you finish the model. And here is an early picture of Bela Lugosi when he was on Broadway. And it gives you the history of Bela Lugosi. So now let us look at the models. See fresh in the bag. I'm not going to open the bag because I do not want parts everywhere, but we will look at the details through the plastic. So there, let's move this. All right, so you can see the skulls and the rats. And what have we here? The back of the skull. And this is a torch. Look at the details on the torch and the bat. I know my accent is going to go in and out, so be prepared. <laughs> All right, that's the first bag. And now we've got the bag that has the Bela Lugosi in it. There you can see the vest of Bela Lugosi. And you'll notice the holes in there. Those are alignments for pegs like this for the cake. At least it should be anyway. Maybe it's not. I might be lying. But anyway, there's the pants. You can see the nice crisp detail. And look at the back. Look at the pleats in the actual back. Just like they would be sewn on the real article. And here you have the girl. Now you will notice the face of the girl as she screams in terror. Actually, I think she's fainted. You can see the hair of the girl. <laughs> and if you look here, you will see the face of Bella Lagosi. That's a very accurate rendition. Look at the little tassels on here. That's very nice. Even has the three buttons to button up the ends of the sleeve. And the shoes appear to be one piece. No, they are two pieces. 
and the hands. The hands that reach out to grab you. <laughs> Alright. And finally, in this bag here, we have the base. Now I have to hold it way out here so you can see it all. But look at the pillars. They are massive. 12 inches at least on a pillar. Ooh, too bad. This is facing the wrong way. Maybe I will open the one bag. Let's do that. With the old pocket knife. Imported all the way from Romania. I lie, of course. Bought it in British Columbia. Okay. <laughs> Look at the gate. Come on, focus. There we go. Look at the hinges. Wonderful work. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. In the wood grain. You would swear this was a real piece of wood. Ha <laughs> ha Well, I guess that's about it for the Dracula kit. Wonderful. And there is the back of the box for your painting instructions. So I hope you liked this episode of What's on the Bench. And remember, if you're in Monster Hobbies, do not be afraid to pick up this kit, for it is wonderful. And it won't bite you unless you bite it first. Until next time, happy dreams.